Hey everybody, welcome to my channel again. This is GC, aka Greg, um, and this segment of my channel is going to be called uh, eBay Corner. Um, well, eBay Amazon Corner. So I can, uh, I'm going to show you guys tips and tricks on like things that are related to eBay and Amazon as far as selling. Uh, so in this seg uh, in this uh, episode, I'm going to show you guys how to take out the, the best way to take out the sticker on the boxes uh, especially when you go like thrift stores they put these stickers in uh, tricky places and if you try to peel it yourself <coughs> you're gonna have um, this uh, paper rip like this I don't know if you can see that but there's uh, still uh, paper ripped on here that's stuck on here so what you want to do is have a heat gun I got me an industrial heat gun this one is overkill, but um, I actually got this at Salvation Army and got a good deal on this, so I don't care. But a hair dryer would work good on this. <coughs> um, the downsides of uh, the heat gun is that it's too strong and you can't really control the the temperature on here. So sometimes it'll cook the box or plastic if um, this sticker is on a plastic, and you don't want that because it uh, deforms the product's uh, packaging. <coughs> So a hair, um, hair dryer would work the best because it's not too hot. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and um, proceed. So what you want to do is plug it in, of course. Um, you want to start off on the edge when you peel it. If you see here, just peel it right here. Start from the edge and then go slowly. Um, <clears throat> don't uh, start from here. You'll rip it and then you'll screw it up. You want to peel it where it's um, easy, so on the edge, and then you just slowly peel it off. And then let me show you guys how. So you turn on your heat gun. So you make sure it's hot, it's turned on. And you just go back and forth on the label for probably a few seconds. Um, don't keep it too close, don't keep it too far. But it depends on the power of the heat gun. This one is a powerful one, so I'm not going to bring it too close. So you see it right here. I can see a little uh, discoloration in the box. I'm going, that means I'm going too close. You then you stop. Like I said, go to the edge. Oh crap, it's freaking hot. Peel it. And boom. And see? This is what you don't want to do. <laughs> this is an example of why I said uh, you gotta go, don't go too close. I guess, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yep, so you don't want this thing happening. But I don't really care. Whatever. But if it's an expensive item and, or if it's a new box, you don't want this to happen. So yeah, see so it peeled right off. No residue left. If there is residue on the, the box, uh, what I like to do is um, get like alcohol or uh, it depends. Um, if you use the, the nail polish remover, it'll take out some of the paint on the box or whatever uh, it's on and it'll damage it. The safest thing to do is use alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. And if that don't work, then you move up to the nail polish, but you want to be careful. Honestly, I don't. Um, I don't uh, take off the residue because uh, the customer won't care unless it's like it has to be brand new looking so that will uh, make me want to take it off but anyways yep that's uh, basically it I um, just want to plug this in um, I actually have a new eBay guide that I just launched I'm going to put it in the description um, and it'll help you guys with uh, especially beginners uh, for first time selling on eBay and this is basically a cheat sheet when it comes to uh, selling on eBay and I made a lot of mistakes um, when I first started and I wish I had this guide to help me then I would have avoided so many of those mistakes I made so anyways um, it's $19.99 right now but I'm gonna drop it to $9.99 just let me know so I can hook you guys up with a coupon code but yeah, so yeah, just um, stay tuned for the next one. All right, peace.